If you're trading options without understanding the Greeks, you basically see random numbers. It's like going to an exam without learning. You're going to have a huge disadvantage compared to others and you're probably going to fail. It's the same thing with options. So after you watch this video, you'll be well prepared to take your next option trade. The first thing that you need to know is that options is dependent on the price of the underlying asset, time and volatility. The biggest effect on the option is the price of the underlying asset. In option Greeks, that's delta. Delta shows how much the option price will change if the underlying asset increase or decrease by one dollar. Let's take an example from Wall Street Bad's favorite stock, GameStop. If we check this option contract, which is October 29, 2021, and the strike is 180 dollars. Delta of this contract is 0.468. And the premium of this contract is around $9. If the underlying asset, which is GameStop, if it increased to $181, that means it's a $1 change in the underlying asset. The option price will increase from $9, for example, which is the middle from bid and ask, plus 0 0.468. If you check the option contract at $100, which is far in the money, the contract price is $78 and delta is 0 0.987. If GameStop goes up by $1, the option will increase around 0 0.987, which is around $1. And if we check the 380 strike, delta is 0 0.03. So it almost doesn't have any effect on the option price. If the underlying asset goes up by $1, the option will increase just by 0 0.03. And everything is the inverse on the put option because the put option increase in value when the stock price goes on. That's why delta is negative. So from this, you'll understand that a call option varies between zero and one and the put option between zero and minus one here's something else very important that we should know on deltas usually the value of deltas give you the exact probability that the option will expire in the money let's take the same example on gamestop the current price of gamestop is around 175 dollars if you use very basic logic and think where the option will expire, there's 50% chance that it will expire in the money or 50% out of the money. Because the current price of GameStop is $175 and the strike of the option is $175. That's why there's 50% chance that will expire in the money. If, if we check the delta of this option, it's 0 0.542, which that is what we expected. So now you can understand why the further you go in the money, delta will be close to 1. And the further you go out of the money, delta will go to 0. Because there's a very low chance that will expire in the money. That's why in options, almost everything is priced in. The call contract at the 100th strike, delta is 0 0.987. If we check the premium of this contract, it's $78, which is pretty high. And the inverse with the 380 contract, there's a very low chance that this option will expire in the money, which means there's a super high probability that will expire worthless, which is 3%, because delta is 0 0.03, and the contract price is almost $0.7. The premium is low because we know it will expire worthless. There's one more concept that you need to know with option deltas. The more we go out of the money, delta of these options will decrease by value. If you use very basic logic, you'll understand why. If you give an option contract more time, you're basically going to have more time and chance that that option will expire in the money. If you go on a shorter expiry, you're basically going to have less time to let the option expire in the money. I can give you a perfect example again on GameStop. The current price is $175 and this strike at 200 delta at 0.062. That means you have 6.2% chance that will expire in the money. If we go on a higher time frame, for example, November 5, 2021, the $200 strike contract delta at 0.2. 291 that means you almost have 30 percent chance that will expire in the money and since you have more chance that this contract will expire in the money the premiums will be higher for example on this 200 dollar contract the premium is around six dollars on the two-day expiry the 200 dollar contract at 0.8 so that's why everything is priced in in options so next time when you hear a wall street bad degenerate put all their money into an out of the money call option with one week expiry, you'll understand that their probability to win is super low.
Usually they go and buy the out of the money call options because they are cheap. But now you know that there's a reason because they are cheap. Because you have a super low chance to win. Now you're probably wondering if the stock price goes up, those probabilities will change. That means delta will change. It won't stay the same. So here comes the importance of gamma. The value of gamma is basically how much delta will change if the underlying asset goes up or down by $1. I won't give a lot of examples of gamma because the idea is very simple. If the option premium is $10, delta is 0.5 and gamma is 0.05, if the underlying asset goes up by $1, the option price will increase from $10 to 10.5. But at the same time, the value of delta will increase by 0.05. The new delta price is 0.55. So on the next $1 move on the underlying asset, the option will increase by 0.55. So that means if the underlying asset went up by $1, the new value of the premium is 11.05. It's the same idea when you hear a Wall Street bad user make 10,000% on a single option trade. They are basically buying far out of the money call options with 2 or 3% chance to win and if they are super lucky and the underlying asset increased by value a lot, you'll see the gammas will accelerate delta. If you ever heard the idea of gamma squeeze, this is exactly what it is. If you buy an out of the money call option with 0.02 delta, that means you have 2% chance to win and this option contract goes far in the money, delta will increase to $1. So basically delta increased from 0.02 to $1, which is a huge percentage change. That's why on this contract you can make huge percentage, but the chance that you get those returns is super low. And now we have two of my favorites, Theta and Vega. Have you ever traded an option and you were 100% right in the direction, but you still lost money? If yes, that's because of time and implied volatility. If you understand the basics behind these two option Greeks, you're going to have a huge advantage and you can use those Greeks to work with you, not against you. So let's start with Theta. The value of Theta is basically how much the option will lose its value per day. So if you think about it, if you buy options, time is working against you because the option is losing its value every single day. And if you're selling option, time is working with you. If you remember my point in Delta, when we increase our time frame, we have more chance that this option will expire in the money. That's why the shorter the time frame, premiums are lower and when we increase our time frame, premiums are usually higher. And the reason behind it is Theta, because the options are losing their value every single day. Out of the money options, they will expire worthless. And the closer you get to expiry, the options will lose their value faster if they are out of the money. Let's check the same contract that I gave you an example on previously. The $200 strike, November 5 expiry. The premium on this contract is around $6. If we check the same strike but a shorter expiry, for example 2 days, the $200 contract is almost $0.8. So basically they are the same strike but there's a huge percentage in the option premiums. If we check the TET of the November 5 strike, this option is losing $0.256 per day. With the current price of GameStop, which is $175, if it stays the same in the next 23 days, that means delta will stay the same, but the option will lose its value by $0.256 per day. If you calculate that, $0.256 times 23, it's $5.9. And the midpoint between bid and ask of this option contract, it's around 5.9. 5.9 minus 5.9 at zero. That means the option expired worthless. And how the value decreased with Theta. So now you understand how Theta works. The shorter the time frame, Theta will have a bigger effect on the out of the money option, but the inverse on the in the money call options. When you go in the money, for example, the $100 strike, Theta it's almost zero. And the higher you go in time frame, for example, April 14, 2022, Theta will have a much lower effect because you basically have much more time for this option to expire. One of my strategies is that I sell out of the money call and put options. Why? Because Theta will have a huge effect on those trades. So if you check one of my accounts that I trade on, the value of Theta is $350. That means I'm getting paid $350 every single day because I'm selling those options. If I was buying those options, I'm losing $350 per day. 
So that's why I never buy short time frame options. When I buy options, I want them at least to expire after 5 months. So now you understand how Theta works and how you can use it in your advantage. The fourth important Greek is Vega. If you ever heard IV crush, that's what Vega is for. For each percentage change for implied volatility, the option will increase or decrease by the Vega value. So that means when the implied volatility increase of the stock, the option premiums will increase by value. Why? Because when the volatility increase, you usually have more risk. That's why you're going to pay more premium. Usually implied volatility goes up when there's new spending, earnings call, sudden price increase of the underlying asset or sudden decrease of the price of the underlying asset. A perfect example is on GameStop and AMC. Implied volatility of those stocks increased from 60% to 600% at the peak. That's why premiums on those stocks are super high. So now you're going to understand when you can still lose money even if you write on the direction. For example, if you bought puts on GameStop when it peaked around $500 or $450, implied volatility was at the peak too. And when GameStop dropped from that point around 80%, implied volatility decreased a lot. So from 600% implied volatility, it dropped to 200. That's a 400% change in implied volatility. So with that 400% decrease on implied volatility, a Vega it was 0.1 dollars, 400 times 0.1 that's $40. So if Delta did not outperform the implied volatility, you're definitely going to lose on this contract. It's the same thing if the inverse happened. If the implied volatility increased by 100% and if Vega is 0.1, the option will increase directly by $10. Same thing happens before an earnings call. Implied volatility will increase before earnings call and after they announce the earnings, implied volatility will decrease. So if you're buying an option contract before an earnings call, IV it's working against you. You should be super right in the direction so you can make money on this option contract. So I think now you understand how options works. If you have any question, you're more than welcome to join our Discord chat room and we can all help you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.